To understand Pakistan's economic crisis, we need to examine its root causes. One major factor is the country's persistent fiscal deficit. Pakistan has been spending more than it earns, leading to a growing gap between revenue and expenditure. This deficit puts pressure on the economy and leads to a cycle of borrowing, which increases public debt. Additionally, Pakistan faces challenges in attracting foreign direct investment. Political instability, security concerns and inconsistent policies have deterred investors from committing to long-term ventures in the country. This lack of investment further hampers economic growth and job creation. Another significant issue is Pakistan's trade imbalance. The country heavily relies on imports, especially for energy and machinery, which puts pressure on its foreign reserves. Insufficient exports and a narrow export base contribute to the trade deficit, making Pakistan vulnerable to external shocks. The impact of the economic crisis is felt by every citizen. Rising inflation has made basic necessities more expensive, making it challenging for the average person to make ends meet. Unemployment rates have also increased, leading to a higher poverty rate and a strain on social welfare programmes. So what can be done to address Pakistan's economic crisis? First and foremost, the government needs to focus on fiscal discipline. By reducing unnecessary expenditure and improving tax collection, the fiscal deficit can be narrowed, leading to a more stable economic environment. Pakistan should also work on creating an investor-friendly environment. This includes ensuring political stability, implementing consistent policies and providing incentives for both domestic and foreign investors. By attracting more investment, Pakistan can stimulate economic growth and job creation. The political turmoil is likely to worsen the deepening economic crisis in Pakistan, which is grappling with soaring inflation as well as rising poverty and unemployment. The cash-strapped nation is at risk of a default. The International Monetary Fund has delayed a loan to Islamabad for months, demanding immediate reforms. Pakistan secured a $6 billion IMF bailout in 2019. It was topped up with another $1 billion last year to help the country following devastating floods. But the IMF then suspended disbursements in November due to Pakistan's failure to make more progress on fiscal consolidation. Pakistan's major ally, China, to whom it owes the largest chunk of its bilateral debt, came to its rescue yet again. In a message to journalists late Friday night, the State Bank of Pakistan announced receiving a $1 billion loan from China. Beijing refinanced the loan which Islamabad had earlier repaid. Pakistan's annual inflation rate has risen to 37.97% in May, the Statistics Bureau said, setting a national record for the second month in a row. The Bureau's announcement on Thursday worsens the economic crisis in the South Asian country as crucial bailout talks with the International Monetary Fund, IMF, remain stalled and the risk of defaulting on debts looms. Years of financial mismanagement have pushed Pakistan's economy to the limit, exacerbated by a global energy crisis and devastating floods that submerged a third of the country in 2022.